have more than 70% chance of making the right identification after five minutes of questioning. Uh, what Alan Turing has said that in 1950 only itself here says that after 50 years, it will be possible to program computers to make them play the imitation game. Imitation means they can mimic how a human person can respond. And uh, the interrogator, a third person, is not able to identify that he is interacting with a machine or a human. And what is the success rate that he is saying that that machine can fool the interrogator and that interrogator will not have more than 70% chance of making the right identification after five minutes of questioning. Bridge is asking, sir, what is the mean by signature authorization here? Meta signature is your pattern, how you are using your credit card and debit card. This is about your pattern in your signature. Like suppose you are using your credit card for uh, uh, like uh, for electricity bill paying only every for last five years. But suddenly your credit card has been used for buying some purchase of any uh, other things like uh, you are buying online your shoes or mobile phone, each other thing. So there is maybe a risk that for five years you are paying only electricity bill with your credit card, but suddenly there is a change in your signature that you are using something else also with your credit card. So this is called the signature and the authorization that you are having the command on that thing only. So we need to identify the pattern and how, uh, what is the interest of those person that you are using, the credit card or other things. So this is all about the pattern similarity with which we try to predict the behavior of a human being. So every person is having a unique signature, like uh, what is my signature that you can have easily identify that every teacher or every person having a unique way of like uh, talking or uh, having some kind of uh, like you can say that greeting others, this, every person is having a unique signature. So like how do you have a handshake or how you walk? These all are the your identification things and signature. So Bridge is asking so that buying pattern, buying pattern is our signature for credit card. Yes, it can be a buying pattern. It may be a signature for credit card. For example, I am just saying there may be any other algorithm also that can identify the signature of a person, how you are using, suppose it is maybe a day of time that at which time you are using your credit card mostly suppose you are using mostly credit card in your daytime from 10 to 5 only but for five years we have used your credit card for 10 to 5 a.m 10 a.m to 5 p.m only but so, sometime it uh, uh, someone is using your credit card in the night 1 a.m 2 a.m so there is a drastic change in the buying pattern of using your credit card. So I am just telling you that there are the, some unique identifications of a person that can uh, put into the, your artificial intelligence algorithm. So there is, there is not only one thing that can you can identify is a signature of a person. A lot of things are put together to mark that you are the person who is using your credit card. Understand? So I am I have told you only two things like it is a, like how you are buying with your credit card and what is the time of day in general you are using your credit card and there are other things also that can put together into your data mining algorithm to identify the fraud detection and that who is the authorized person to use the credit card so what Alan Turing was very enthusiastic to say that how machine can think the machine can imitate the human behavior and the interrogator cannot able to predict that he is interacting with the machine or a human being. So let's see what is a Turing test and how his, uh, a machine can fool an interrogator. Alan Turing in his paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence published in the Mind Journal in 1950 proposed an operational approach to the question whether machines can think or not. So how he proposed, he proposed replacing the question, can machine think by an experiment he called the imitation game. Means 
uh, instead of identifying that whether machine can think we can if we can put a machine make a per interrogator fool that he is not able to identify that he is talking to a machine or a human being then we can say that much in has possess the intelligence of human being so third one is the experiment compares the performance of a supposedly intelligent machine against the performance of a human on a given set of queries what the experiment compares the performance of a supposedly intelligent machine against the performance of a human on a given set of queries it is just like a competition between a human being and a computer system and a third person is interrogating those human and a computer system about some quiz now if both are able to answer things as compared to each other then how interrogator can identify that he is interacting with a machine or a computer suppose uh, one human being is present in a one room and a computer system is put into the second room and the interrogator is in the third room and only way of interacting with these three uh, entities is using the your mobile phone or having some uh, other device with the voice only we can interact we can interact with so let's see how we are having some turing test first one is the game include three players Oh, oh, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what is the Turing test? The game includes three players with different goals: A, B, who answer questions, and C, who ask questions. A and B are of opposite sex. Now, what is the game? We are having two person: A suppose uh, A is of opposite sex of B and C is the interrogator who is who is now having the challenge to identify who is male and who is female now the goal of player C is to determine the sex of A and B by asking them questions the goal of player B to help player C in his task means B is no is helping player C in his task to identify who is who <clears throat> now the goal of player A is to trick player C into failing in his task means uh, player A is trying to trick the player C so that uh, C fail in his task to identify that A is male or female now the experiment is repeated several times measuring the success rate of player C with the help of a number of questions asked by the player C so what will happen in the case of what will happen if a machine assumes the role of player A suppose a player A is now a computer system and player B is a human being now C that is the interrogator is have to identify previously that who is male and who is female now in this scenario we need to that interrogator C is need to find who is a computer and who is human being so will the question asker C make same number of mistakes as in the case when both A and B are human now turing what said if the number of mistake is equal then the machine is intelligent if the number of mistake is equal then the machine is intelligent meaning when both a and b are humans of opposite sex and c who is interrogating a and b to identify the gender of those a and b and by having a number of rounds if the success rate of identifying those a and b by c suppose 60% and suppose we have replaced the <coughs> player a with the computer system now again c is asking those questions or different type of questions with a and b with the multiple rounds now again if the success rate is 60% then what turing has said if the number of mistake is equal then the machine is intelligent and the standard variant of the test is also uh, this is the one variant that you have to identify the male and female 
kind of thing and what is the standard variation of this test the question asker c must identify the human player we can have a variant of this turing test we have interrogator c has to find out who is human being and who is computer system so this is a turing test in which basically uh, turing is wants to say that if a machine can be make the behavior of a human being then machine can possess the intelligence means if machine is able to identify and uh, give the answers just like a human beings then it can have the role of a human being and if he assume that uh, humans are intelligent then the machine is also intelligent now so Uh, abilities required by a machine to pass the Turing test. What are the abilities required by a machine to pass the Turing test? We machine needs to understand the natural language, so natural language processing must be there. Knowledge representation, automated reasoning, learning. These all things are in general required by the machine to pass the Turing test. Uh, Turing predicted that by the year 2000. computers with about 120 mb of memory only will have a 30% chance to fuel full humans that is interrogator that interrogator is not able to identify that he is interacting with the machine or a human um we have some analysis question first one is is the turing test a good test for artificial intelligence and the second one is what are the drawbacks of the turing test so this is the homework for you you have to find what is the turing test a good test for artificial intelligence and what are the drawbacks of turing test because turing test is uh, uh, saying that machine is intelligent if it can mimic the behavior of a human being and can uh, satisfy the interrogator that he is talking with the human but not the machine so is there any drawback of this turing test means uh, if a, a machine can pass a turing test if, can we say that that machine is a possessing the artificial intelligence or not so today we are stopping our class here only we have discussed today what are the application of artificial intelligence importance of artificial intelligence and the about discuss about the turing test